Take some positives away, even when Clowney, I think, has two tackles and Quarles has none, but obviously they still had an impact on the game. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's obviously that's what everybody look at is stats. I mean, that's what it is. But if you sit down and look at the entire game, you look at the way they played and how hard they played, then you see the true impact and they, that they made in the game. I mean, there were times where uh, Dave Young was being blocked by two and three guys on a consistent basis. So, uh, you know, he uh, he's playing hard. He's playing hard every week. And, uh, you know, I'm happy with the way he's playing. And he just keep playing. Uh, the stats will come to him. Is that a tough message to get across? Uh, no, because that's what he is. He like, I mean, he plays hard every time he gets out here. You know, um, you know, he's been things have been said throughout the year about him. And this now, you just turn the film on. You see how hard he plays. And he obviously was more vocal, I think, on the sidelines. Coach mentioned that. He was. He was. That was. A, that was definitely a positive. You know, uh, he was talking before the game, talking in um, at halftime, talking on the sideline, and the guys fed into it. And you know, we talked to him about, hey, he's got to step up and he got to do that more because uh, these guys, they, they follow him and they feed from him. And um, I think that's going to be a big big impact for us. And if he can continue to do that, you know, it'll, it'll help us throughout the year. How did your Davion grade out Saturday? How did you think he uh, Well, a percentage grade he had. He graded out at 91%. You know, he played really hard, did a lot of great things. Um, I mean, I think they ran the ball at him four times the whole day. The times that he was in, I, I want to say that's the number. I'm not at, I'm sure on that, but, you know, and. It's hard when you're being double teamed, the ball's going away from you, you know, but he's playing hard. And when the ball's coming at him, the couple times it did come at him, he's got two and three people on him, you know, but he's playing hard and we're happy with the way he's playing. And like I said, the plays will come to him. He's just got to keep doing what he's doing. What kind of a tangible difference did his return have on the play of the defensive line? Well, I thought it was, it was big, you know, I thought it was big because obviously everybody knows, you know, he draws all the attention. And um, when he can take up two and three and and um, two and three guys, and it allows other guys to do some other things and even take some stress off of our linebackers. Um, and, and they did, that, that's what happened Saturday, and we had some guys make some plays. Now we missed some that we've got to get better at, and, and you know, we're going to continue to do that. But, uh, but Davion coming back was big. With all the attention that Davion's getting, do you feel like Chaz Sutton has taken advantage? Well, he knows he hadn't made the plays that, that he needed to make on a consistent basis. He knows that. We talk about it all the time. Um, you know, and, and, and Arkansas came out and did some of the things Central Florida did, you know, putting both backs and chipping both sides on those uh, those guys. But, you know, he knows when he gets in one-on-one -on -one situations, he's got to capitalize. That's the only way it opens things up for all of us. And, uh, and I challenge him um, about it every day, and, and he understands that, and uh, he, he's working to get better.